Today we're going to go over a quick and easy way to clean your windows to remove any and all water spots and etching. Now, this video didn't initially go as planned. I've used this method for years and is my normal go-to method. I wanted to try and use an easier method that is touted online, but it, uh, well it failed. That'll be at the end of the video so you can see what I mean. Anyway, we're going to start off with cleaning the window with a clay bar and O&R, or optimum no rinse, to remove surface level grime and so you can see what is still left on the window. You can actually see the hard water spots and etching as I clean the window as it sticks to them in a very peculiar manner. Even after I clean it off, you can see all of the water spots and such. Ignore the dog drool and nose prints on the inside of the glass, I clean that later. So the quick and easy way of doing this, get some Wyman's glass cleaner a microfiber pad, which in my case is a Euro buff pad, and add four dime sized drops to the pad. Go ahead and polish the surface at around 4,000 RPMs and do it just like you would for polishing paint. Slow, even passes with medium pressure and then a quicker pass with light pressure. Be careful not to hit the paint with this as the glass cleaner is moderately abrasive and can leave some nasty marring on the paint that will require polishing to be removed. As we can see, there is no longer any water spots or etching, and when we wipe the surface with a damp cloth, it doesn't cling to any of the aforementioned spots like it had previously. The only area where there are water spots still is the very top of the glass, where I didn't hit it with the polisher as I didn't want to run the risk of hitting the chrome. I could have opened the door or lowered the window to go all the way to the top, but that wasn't necessary for the video. Now onto the method that didn't work for me. I will say that I've used this method years and years ago and remember it working well, but it didn't even start to remove the hard water spots from the sprinklers that battered this car for months. The method in question is to use quad zero seal wool and glass cleaner to polish the surface. Quad zero seal wool is extremely important as anything else such as double odd or medium grade or any other type can scratch the window. Whereas quad zero is fine enough that it won't but there is an asterisk there. You always want to use brand new steel wool and not any that's been sitting as rusty quad zero steel wool can still scratch the surface. Or if it's fallen on the ground or sat somewhere, it could easily pick up contaminants that can scratch the glass. The other thing about steel wool is that you want to use a cloth that you're fine with throwing away or a paper towel as it will shed when you use it leaving small metal fibers that can get picked up in your cloth and will definitely scratch your paint if you ever use it there in the future. You'll see me actually try to blow it out of the window seal which failed miserably so instead I just chose not to let my cloth touch the very bottom area. Thank you. 
You can see that even after two passes, there are still streaks, hard water spots, and etching in the glass, and this was an utter failure. So I definitely recommend the polishing method with a dual action polisher, or even by hand with a microfiber cloth over the steel wool method. I should also mention that this is after the car has been washed with an iron remover to try and remove these spots previously, and that didn't even start to touch them. But that's all that we have for today, and I hope you learned something. As always, if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all new content as it comes out. Thanks for watching. Bye now.